Welcome to Checkmate. This is part five of standing on paper route business, the war in Memphis. Now, we're gonna recant some of this. We're gonna just go back to the, to the top of the story just a little bit. Now, Straight Drop was highly influenced by Young Dolph and Key Glock and the PRE guys. Him and the Trula Mafia actually kind of rolled underneath Dolph and the boys for a little while, right? You can see that in some of Dolph's old videos, you'll catch straight dropping him. Um, to my understanding, he kind of rolled with Key Glock and his crew. There he is right there. So, you have to watch your back from those you believe are the closest to you. You never know. You never know what they're plotting on. Maybe they want your spot. Maybe they've been watching your girl. Maybe they've been watching your whip. Watching where you, you know, your plug. Man, you gotta watch these brothers. One thing I was told somebody hey I got a million dollars and they walk up and they say damn I'll never get that million dollars you probably want to get you know out of their range probably want to get away from them now if they walk up and say man how'd you get that million dollars man show me how you did that yeah you might want to put them in your circle those some go-getters that person's gonna get that million dollars trust me trust me so Straight Drop seemed like one of those guys who kind of like, I ain't gonna get that million. So you gotta take out the person who got it, you know? You gotta take them out. You gotta, you gotta try your best to get in and take them out. So the first time they got the opportunity from Govan Hernandez to, to take Dolph out, bro, they did it. And you gonna give me some money? And you gonna give me some money? Word is that Govan got $40,000 from Joe. He gave each one of those boys 10,000. Man, bad as they were doing, man, he might have gave them boys 5,000 a piece, man. And he, I know that old school nigga right there, he kept it. He kept, he kept 20 for himself. He kept 20 for himself, I'm sure. So, you know, they did under the doff to that right there and now it's on. Now True La Mafia has made themselves hot. PRE know exactly where the hit came from. Now you mean to tell me Dolph's been bringing nothing but, he's bringing food to these boys table. Nothing but positive shit. I know he's probably hustling out there. He's bringing food to these boys table. And they take him out any opportunity they got. The very first opportunity. So, if that's, if that's the way they're gonna portray a friendship, if that's the way they're gonna, you know, show you love, makes you, makes you wonder why Dolph even dealt with them that way. Why he even tried. So when Yo Gotti and Dolph got into their beef, and Big Jook, you know, of course he's riding with Gotti. When they got into their beef, Jook put the money in the street. And these young boys, they bought that life. They bought that life. So you definitely gotta watch your back. So the money's dropped off. Govan Hernandez gives it to the young boys. The young boys do the hit. Govan dips out. You notice, it wasn't very long before they had a suspect. It didn't take long at all before they had Justin Johnson's face all over the news. Yeah, that's straight drop. That's straight drop. Then he got with some of his people and tried to get out of there. I think they caught him somewhere and maybe in Texas or something. But they caught him. 
Wonder why it didn't take so long. Wonder why it was so fast. Wonder who turned on him. Hmm. See, like if you're the boss and you put the you put the word out, hey, I need this done, and things go haywire, you gotta cut off all the limbs. Everything that connects to me has got to get cut off. Who's to say that the boys from CMG didn't get one of their aunties or somebody the place to call? I know it didn't take long before that young man's face was all over the news. So either the police, the Memphis police was going to get him or PRE was going to slide him or both. Which ended up happening. Because, you know, the PRE boys in Memphis, they love Dolph. Dolph brought a lot of opportunity to those guys. So you best believe they're sliding for him. Again, three years later, they're still sliding for Dolph. Now, Govan Hernandez, you know, he lost a daughter in this war in Memphis. Now, she didn't get killed in Memphis. I think she got killed in New Orleans or something like that, Houston or something. But, and they say that it's loosely related to this this situation with Dolph. To my understanding, the young lady was in the rap business, in the hip hop game, and she was an up and coming artist. And she kind of was following in dad's footsteps. Yo, you hook my daughter up with a deal. Slide me 40 grand. I'll take care of your little problem. One thing led to another. Boom. He called the young boys right in the hood. Right in his hood. Because, see, the thing is, Govan Hernandez is an OG over there where Chula Mafia stomps at. So he just told his little homies, look, um, yo, I got an opportunity for y'all to make some money. You got it? those boys were now you place the money in the hood you put that means you put the battery in their back now you have set off the war then you lose your child so I'm sure that Govan Hernandez his mind frame is retaliation the emotions running through this guy's head. Who knows if he showed if he if, if he has any remorse. We will find out during the court case. Now, PRE has staged, has moved their entire unit out of Memphis. There's no one in Memphis from PRE. Most of those guys moved down to Alabama. Florida, and of course Atlanta. Atlanta is where all the rappers and all the hot boys moved to. Don't you think that's gonna make Atlanta hot? <laughs> Weird. So yeah, this war in Memphis continues without the major players living in Memphis. So that means all of their entourages are continuously, and their families are continuously battling. has been going at that man ever since. That's just hate. There's no justification to that. That's just hate. Now the tables have turned. And these PRE boys are primed and ready to go. Now the score is getting up on the other side over there now. Hmm? The underdog is coming up winning. <coughs> they done took out Dolph. What more do they got to lose? 
You took our head. Now the body's reacting without a brain. So now you get what you get. Now you got a war in Memphis. So now Big Jook got assassinated. We'll say, we'll say assassinated several weeks ago. This is three years after Dolph has been taken out. That lets you know that these still waters run deep. Real deep. Most people are like, yeah, man, I got your back, bro. Something happens. A year or two later, they moved on. They got a family. They're in a different state. They're trying to forget about all of it. That's not the case here. It's not the case. Seems to me that the PRE guys and girls are not going to forget about this shit ever. And they're showing it. There's been a body dropping damn near every week for the last three years. And it don't look like it's about to stop. Right now, there's a few players that remain in Memphis. The owners of the cookie shop, the Trula Mafia, the lower level PRE people. So forth. So this war is far from over. So now you know the FBI has their eyes focused on Memphis, Tennessee. So these guys got to kind of watch how they move. On the next episode, we're going to speak on Big Jook's funeral and how heavily guarded that was. But right now, we're just speaking on how crews, you know, deceive other crews, how how man betrays man. You should never bite the hand that feeds you. You should never look a gift horse in the mouth. So what that does, it it makes people who are in a better position feel like they need to isolate themselves away from helping anybody. The fuck I'm gonna help somebody for, and they might they might turn around and and, and murk me. Nah, that's okay. I won't help them out. When really, in all actuality. We supposed to be helping each other, not 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 throwing blicks at each other, not 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 pulling switches, not firing off switches at each other, fucking each other's broad, all of that. I mean, if that happens, she wasn't yours to begin with. Move on. One of the main things that has that'll destroy a man is his pride and ego. You feel like you're the only one who can satisfy this woman? Oh my God, you got a lot to learn. If we could learn to put our egos and pride down, don't, don't rely so much on your emotions then we can learn to de-escalate some of these problems. Now, I know I took this episode to kind of enlighten people on friendships and your crew and all. But that's what I feel like needs to be said in the midst of this war in Memphis. Because there's a simple disconnect. There's a simple lack of connection. us to where we are right now. Had Dolph and Gotti sat down, chopped it up before their crews got involved, 
and start turning it up a little and start turning the, the, the temperature up maybe this shit wouldn't even be here maybe we still have Dolph maybe Gotti will still have his brother but you know there's layers to this there's a lot of different players and by the end of it all they'll all be touched is you can't steal an angel away you gotta let God take that angel back so if someone is bringing positivity if someone is blessing you if someone is looking out for the hood you don't need to take that person away God instilled that person there installed that person there who are you to take that person away from there Therefore, karma is yours, my G. So the CMG family is under attack, basically. We can't say it's the PRE crew that's doing it. It could be people who just got love for them. Or it could be them. So who's next up as the boss of PRE? I guess we would say it's Key Glock. being as close as he was to Dolph I'm sure he's gonna hold the PRE banner up high as he should so now now that you see most of the players in this war in Memphis starting to get plucked off you see the level of the war intensifying as time goes on it kind of opens up your eyes to how things operate down in this southern state of Memphis Tennessee Man, you wouldn't think any of this is going on. Why would you? 